Welcome back to another episode of HVAC System Design Tutorial with uh, Channel of the World of Building Design. My name is Babak, I'm your host. Uh, so in this tutorial, we would like to uh, solve a very simple problem related to the uh, thermal load calculation in the floor of a building. So if we imagine we have a building, uh, we have a dimension of the, the building, we have a dimension or depth of the the height of the uh, basement and uh, we know the material that we have uh, for the walls and for the floors and uh, there are other parameters that we are aware of in terms of the outside temperature and we want to use the uh, empirical data from the carrier hab handbook and uh, demonstrate how we can solve uh, such problem or if we have if we have uh, encountered that in the carrier hub software and we want to plug it in our number for below ground floor that we need to calculate the thermal load for, we can look at it in this tutorial. So if uh, you have not subscribed for this channel of the World of Building Design, I recommend you to go ahead and subscribe. By pressing the notification button, you will see the new tutorial once they are posted. If you haven't seen my other tutorial, I have recorded a number of other tutorials related to the Revit MEP. If you like to learn about the modeling, uh, learning about mechanical and electrical plumbing and how, how you can use uh, the software of Revit, I put the link uh, in the above. You can click on those and also watch those, those kind of uh, modeling tutorial. Uh, so uh, before further ado, we can go into the example uh, environment and we can go through this example together. Thanks very much for watching. So this is going to be very short and very simple tutorial on how to calculate the uh, floor thermal load. So in this example, we have a uh, building where its uh, floor is uh, in the basement. We want to calculate the thermal load uh, and heat exchange in the basement floor and uh, on the wall around the basement floor. So I'm going to go right into the example and then go back to what equations we used to use. So in this example, we are calculating the heat loss in a basement. So our basement uh, size is 100 feet by 40 feet and the height of the basement is nine feet in, 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 in its height. So the inside our temperature or basement temperature is 65 degree Fahrenheit. So basically we are tempering the basement with our whatever uh, unit that we are heating up the basement and it's uh, heated up continuously. Uh, we assume that our outdoor temperature is zero degree Fahrenheit and uh, dry bulb temperature. And we are also assuming that the grade line is six feet above the basement floor. So basically we have three feet uh, below the grade level and six feet, sorry, we have three feet uh, above the grade level and six feet below the grade level in our basement. Um, and uh, we have the property of our wall in terms of the density of our wall. Um, and also now we want to calculate the heat loss in the basement. So the solution is very simple. As you remember from the previous tutorial, we said that there are three different uh, scenario applies in this case where we have uh, a basement. So these are the view of our, of our basement. It's a rectangular shared basement. We have 100 feet uh, and 40 feet in each side. Um, and this is a top view and this is our elevation view. So as you can see, the grade level is here. So we have three feet of our basement wall above the, this grade level, which is this red line. And the six feet is below uh, the uh, six feet is below into the ground, which is the below ground part of the basement. Uh, so we're going to apply three different equation uh, and solve this issue. Uh, which is this, um, you know, basement uh, load calculation. Um, so we use this major and very famous uh, equation of U multiplied by A multiplied by delta T. So this is basically the rate of heat transfer through the floor or through the wall of basement. Uh, and this is for above ground. So for this section, I'm going to highlight this. So for this section, 
that you can see for the above grade level of the basement wall, you're going to use this equation. So the rate of heat transfer for the, uh, the wall um, is 0.18. This is uh, derived from the catalogs and from the architectural specification where we have the um, you know, U value or R value, which is the reciprocation of the U value. Um, and we have that number from the specification or the wall membrane. Okay? So we, we use that for this equation. The area is pretty simple. You just need to get the perimeter of your, uh, of your wall. So basically the two side, which is the total of 40 plus 40 is 80 plus the two side, the longest side, which is 100 plus 100 is 200. So you have the, the total perimeter of your basement and then multiply by three, which is this highlighted area, which is the area that is above the grade level. So basically you get the total area of your wall above the grade in the basement. So basically you get the total area of this section of the wall, okay? Very simple. So once you calculated that, outside air temperature, we, we said that is zero degree, inside temperature is 65. So basically you get the delta T and clearly you calculate the heat, rate of heat transfer or heat transfer uh, on the wall above the grade level in the basement. Now we move on to the, uh, you know, the wall below the, the wall below the, uh, grade level, which is basically this part. So I'm going to calculate the rate of heat transfer or heat transfer for the wall below the grade level. So obviously you have this equation, as you remember from previous tutorial, you get the perimeter, which is the same, 200 plus 880, and then you, you have your, uh, um, you know, coefficient that we get from the table. Okay, I'm going to back, go back to that table and show you because we have six feet down into the floor, into the uh, under the ground. I'm going to go to the equation table. So from this table, we have a perimeter factor. These are the data derived from the uh, from the equation. So it's empirically uh, represented in a table in the um, Carrier Hub uh, software uh, and also in the Carrier Hub uh, you know manual. So from the six feet below level, I have this number provided as the perimeter factor, 1.05, which I'm gonna use in this equation here. So I'm gonna multiply by the perimeter by my factor, perimeter factor, and then for the temperature difference here, we have to apply outside temperature, which is the same, and inside temperature, which is 65. So same thing here, we get the, the rate of heat transfer um, from the wall below the six feet under the ground. So as you can see, uh, the, the heat transfers are compared with the above ground and it's a lot higher. And then finally, you need to get the heat loss through your floor. So for your heat loss through your floor, you have to basically calculate this whole area, the area of your floor, okay, which is basically this section. So the whole area of your floor is very simple math calculation for your uh, total area. And then for, for the floor, the floor is concrete floor. And depending on the material you have, again, you have the rate of heat transfer, uh, um, you know, um, coefficient uh, derived from the property tables or from the architectural specification, depending on the material used for the floor. Is it four inch concrete? Uh, are there like hardwood floor installed on top? So basically you have to understand the total number of membrane and the material of those membrane that you build in the carrier hub software or you build it externally in the, with the other, uh, you know, uh, other uh, property resources. And then you calculate the total sum of the U value for your total flow memory. And then you plug it in here. And for the area, you had 100 multiplied by 40. And then delta T here, the difference here is delta T because uh, the temperature on the floor 
under the floor, which is your soil temperature, is something that you have to plug it in here. Inside, the space temperature is still the same as 65 degrees, but the soil temperature, because the soil is touching below the, um, below the floor in the basement, so you have to again go back to the table and see at, at that height what is the, the temperature of the soil. So I'm going to go back and find that number somewhere from the tables. Okay, so as you can see in the outside temperature of zero, if our outside or outdoor temperature is zero, the ground temperature or your soil temperature is 55. So you grab the 55 number from this table and bring it back to, to your equation here and plug it in here as 55 and then you get your heat loss through your flow. And when you get this, the sum of all of this heat transfers are the total floor thermal load uh, in the basement, depending on the height of the basement. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and press on the notification button to see the other tutorial once they are posted. If you like also this kind of tutorial, uh, please also press on the like button and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.